Welcome to the Random Bites Podcast, available on Spreaker.com, iTunes, Google Play, and just added to iHeartRadio. A new podcast every day featuring interviews and a unique take on the world we live in. So sit back, relax, and enjoy Random Bites. Here is your host, Alan Wayne. Welcome to Random Bites. Alan Wayne. So tonight is Sunday night and it's 1136 p.m. What am I doing up so late on what would usually be a day where I have to wake my ass up and go to work? Well, it's because tomorrow is Labor Day. That's right. Tomorrow is Labor Day. And, uh, you know, if you're like me, you wonder how these things ever came about. Well, what is Labor Day? Well, Labor Day is in the United States only, a public holiday in the first Monday of September. Labor Day weekend is considered the unofficial end of summer in the United States and also considered a federal holiday. We, we all know those kinds of things. But... Where did it begin and how did it start? Well, beginning in the late 19th century, as the trade union and labor movements grew, trade unionists proposed that a day be set aside to celebrate labor. Labor Day was promoted by the Central Labor Union and the Knights of Labor, which organized the first parade in New York City. Oregon was the first state in 1887 to make it an official public holiday, and it became a federal holiday in 1894 when 30 U.S. states officially celebrated Labor Day. Canada's Labor Day is also celebrated on the first Monday of September and spelled a little differently, spelled L-A-B-O-U-R instead of the L-A-B-O-R day that we know here in America. And more than 80 countries do celebrate International Workers' Day on May 1st, or they call it May Day. Well, in the 19th century, uh, these the working conditions were horrible. That's when unions basically sprouted up to try and protect the workers because people were working 12 to 16 hour days. Children were working. I mean, something had to be done. So unions did step in to protect there. Uh, There were deaths of workers at the hands of the United States Army and United States Marshals during a strike in 1894, which prompted Congress to unanimously vote to approve legislation to make Labor Day a national holiday, and Grover Cleveland signed it into law six days after the end of this strike. So basically, Labor Day was brought on by the unions and brought on by the terrible treatment of bosses and managers and and basically the terrible treatment of the working man so they get a day to sit back relax and hang out now celebrations for labor day include a street parade to exhibit to the public the strength and esprit de corps of the trade and labor organizations followed by a festival of workers and their friends and families so that's a that's a bit of a pattern of how it first started out and of course uh by a resolution of the American Federation of Labor. The Sunday preceding Labor Day was adopted as Labor Sunday, dedicated to the spiritual and educational aspects of the labor movement. Things have kind of changed since uh, since then. Labor Day, as I mentioned before, is the unofficial end of summer. It marks the end of the cultural summer season. Many take their two-week vacations during the two weeks ending Labor Day weekend. Many fall activities, such as school and sports, begin around about this time. Well, school is starting... A lot sooner these days. It's starting at the beginning of August where I sit. So Labor Day kind of loses that end of summer type deal there. But uh, in Minnesota, the state fair ends on Labor Day. Uh, public schools normally do not begin under until after the holiday. So La- Labor Day is is celebrated in many different ways around the country. Labor Day also marks the beginning of many fall sports, such as uh, the NCAA football season. Uh, the NFL will traditionally kick off, play their kickoff game the Thursday following Labor Day, and the Southern 500 NASCAR race has been held on Labor Day weekend at the Darlington Speedway uh, from 1950 to 2003 and since 2015. And several other different sports, including NHRA, uh, U.S. Open tennis is being held during this time. So it's a time for when people are relaxing, they can go out or they can view sporting events at this time. So 
basically that's how that goes. Uh, in fashion, Labor Day is considered the last day when it's acceptable to wear white or seersucker. But how many have you ever seen anybody in seersucker these days? Uh, now the whole wearing white thing, uh, kind of a classic type of type of deal. There, you switch to darker colors: fall, winter, death, uh, autumn. All that type of thing goes on there. And the unofficial beginning of summer is actually Memorial Day. So, anyway, so that's why uh, we celebrate Labor Day. So, however you celebrate it, make sure you make it a good one. Make sure you make it a safe one. Uh, just barbecue or just spend some time with your family. Hope you have a great Labor Day, everybody. And this was Random Bites. Thank you for listening to the Random Bites podcast. Remember to subscribe on iTunes or Google Play. And remember to look us up on iHeartRadio. Also, become a part of the radio revolution by donating on Patreon, www.patreon.com. Just look for the Random Internet Radio Show. And don't forget, you can hear the Random Internet Radio Show live every Saturday night only on Spreaker.com. Thank you very much for listening, and until next time, always be random. Random.